Are you afraid of blood? Then beware, this video is not for the faint of heart. I'm just kidding. Hmm. In our video today, we will be discussing red blood cell measurements, known as hemoglobin and hematocrit. Blood is such an amazing fluid, flowing through our bodies with oxygen and minerals, essentially keeping every living cell alive. A big component of blood, and the main reason it's red in color, is the numerous red blood cells within it. A red blood cell is the functional unit that carries oxygen, and it does so by binding oxygen to a protein called hemoglobin. Think of a red blood cell as a car, and the hemoglobin as the seat. Since every hemoglobin can only carry four oxygen molecules, a red blood cell is basically a four-seater car for oxygen. In the lungs, oxygen get on board every red blood cell and take a seat on the hemoglobin for the ride around the body. Now keeping that in mind, let's go over what some blood tests are measuring. The hemoglobin test measures how much hemoglobin is present in a volume of blood. Since it's such an important protein for carrying oxygen, this number gives us a lot of information about the overall state of your red blood cells. Hmm. Remember how I said red blood cells make up a big part of blood? Well. There are other components as well, such as coagulation proteins, white blood cells, plasma, and many other fancy things. The next test, a hematocrit test, measures the amount of red blood cells as a percentage of total blood. The number can vary, based on age and race, but generally, red blood cells make up about half of total blood, with the rest being a combination of white blood cells, plasma, and other components. The hemoglobin test and hematocrit test are usually correlated, meaning they are usually either both low or both high. A low hemoglobin hematocrit level means that there is a lower level of healthy red blood cells in the body, which is called anemia. It can be a problem in production of normal red blood cells, or the presence of a bleeding source, or it can be the destruction of the cells within the body. On the other hand, a high level of hemoglobin or hematocrit can be from dehydration, smoking, living in high altitude, or an uncontrollable overproduction of red blood cells, such as blood cancers. To summarize, hemoglobin and hematocrit are two measures by which we assess the overall state of red blood cells in the body. Hemoglobin is measuring the actual mass of the hemoglobin protein per unit of blood, and hematocrit is the proportion of red blood cells in relation to the rest of the blood components. They are both a very common way for us to diagnose anemia. And with that, we hope you have a better grasp of hemoglobin and hematocrit in lab tests. Till next time.